Hello and welcome to your Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. I'm Vic Faust. In our lead story, pro-family activists are sounding the alarms for Democrats at recent comments attributed to Democratic vice presidential candidate Senator Joe Biden. According to a pro-homosexual rights group, Biden says he's, quote, honored to be speaking at a dinner for the largest homosexual rights group in the nation. The founder of a pro-family group says rank and file Democrats need to pay attention at what's happened to their party. I think the Democratic Party has sold its soul to the radical homosexual lobby, says Peter LaBarbera, head of Republicans for the Family Values. And speaking of radical homosexuals, Miller Brewing Company is sponsoring the Folsom Street Fair once again in San Francisco after pulling its support from the event last year. The fair is a day involving long party homosexual sadomasochistic sex acts while they're being performed on Folsom Street in San Francisco. Religious groups became incensed last year when Miller allowed its logo to be placed on a poster that mocked the Last Supper. Following a nationwide boycott, Miller withdrew its sponsorship and apologized. No word from the company on why it changed course and signed up for sponsorship this year. Well, four San Diego firefighters who were commanded against their wills to drive a fire truck in the city's gay pride parade are now suing city officials for sexual harassment and violation of free speech rights. Each of the four firefighters were subjected to explicit sexual advances. The openly lesbian fire chief of the San Diego Fire Department admitted in her testimony that the environment the firefighters were subjected to could be construed as sexual harassment. The four firefighters say they found the sexually explicit environment at the parade so vulgar and disturbing that each of them sought therapy after the event. All right, as YouTube polling videos that reveal Barack Obama's extreme views on abortion, many people think so. The Kansas Coalition for Life posted a video with some graphic pictures as narration explained Obama's extreme views and robust support for abortion at all stages. Now, the pro-life group had its video yanked and received nothing more than a short message from YouTube saying its video did not meet, quote, community guidelines. The group believes that they are being singled out, not because of the images, but because of the anti-Obama message. YouTube contains hundreds of images of aborted babies. <laughs> Philadelphia Archbishop Justin Regali has sent a letter to members of Congress warning them about a bill that could be the most extreme measure on abortion ever introduced. The so-called Freedom of Choice Act would make unlimited abortions throughout pregnancy the national law. The Archbishop warns members of Congress that passing the law will increase the number of abortions, and he adds, quote, we can't reduce the number of abortions by promoting abortion, end quote. The Freedom of Choice Act is the subject of Michael Voris's The Vortex today. Check it out if you'd like. All right, a newly published poll commissioned by the Lifetime Network might hold some troubling numbers for Barack Obama. 23% of Clinton primary voters now say they will pull the lever for McCain versus 18% when asked in July. The poll further reveals the dire warnings coming from the left-wing liberal feminist camps that women would leave McCain in droves when they discovered Palin's pro-life record. But those predictions have not come true. Only 2% of women say that they have ruled out McCain-Palin because of her pro-life record. And finally, the Vatican is giving a ringing endorsement for a new book by a British bishop that calls for the restoration of genuine doctrine and practice in the Catholic Church in England and Wales. The Vatican's Congregation for the Clergy says the book entitled Fit for Mission provides an effective, practical instrument for advancing the much-heralded new evangelization. In his introduction, Bishop Patrick O'Donohue of Lancaster writes, the loss of Catholic identity stems from the rejection of true Catholic doctrine within the church's structures, coupled with a widespread misinterpretation of the reforms of the Second Vatican Council. Interesting story there. All right, I'm Vic Faust. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to come back tomorrow for your daily dose of the Catholic News Roundup right here on RealCatholicTV.com. And be sure and check out The Vortex, where, like we said earlier, Michael Voris looks at the truth behind the so-called Freedom of Choice Act. For now, God bless and thanks for tuning in to RealCatholicTV.com.